Howdy y'all! Today we are finally starting rewiring the 1968 Plymouth Barracuda. Been a long time coming. We've got a pretty nice kit here from American Auto Wire Systems. Uh, it's some assembly required, but it is intended for a 67 to 76 Mopar A body. So, as far as I know, a lot of it is pre-terminated. Um, some of it is cut to length. There's um, some special tools required. We've got a fancy wire end crimper device here. And we've got a very large box of wiring. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and see how far we can get in a short period of time. So, the nice thing about this kit is it comes with some pretty nice instructions. Um, start here. All right. First step first is this kit does actually use a modern uh, blade fuse box. It's got a lot of circuits that we probably will not be using. Um, and starts out with this bag right here. Now what's nice is it's all been pretty well sorted out for you so you can kind of get a good idea of where stuff goes. As we can see here we've got a lot of good pre-terminated connectors and that fuse block is going to go into the factory bulkhead connector hole and they give you a little template here because we need to drill two holes in the firewall to get this mounted which has some nice weatherproof foam pretty similar to what you'd find in most late model GM cars and a pretty simple device here and it looks like very well put together you know so let's um I guess start with step one. Step one. We've got to get two holes drilled into our firewall here so we can mount our new fuse panel. Now this is comes with the kit. It's a uh, cut out this paper right here. It lines up with the little triangle notch and we get two holes that need to be drilled to mount the new box. Now we're going to take our automatic center punch here and that one's going to be real fun to drill because it's kind of on a corner there. Let's get it two or three little bumps and same up here. Okay. Now, with any luck, our drill bit won't walk on us. It probably will. Come on, drill. Seriously? What junk is this? Yeah, maybe the chuck on this drill's a little better. I doubt it, but... Oh. And now... See if we can get this one. Alright. Now we've got our holes. Pull that off. And it looks like we're going to have to trim back some of our freshly applied 
sound deadening stuff here, but that's not too bad. All right, so progress has been made. This is not an easy test to film by any means, but as you can see back down in there, we've got our fuse block populated with fuses and whatnot. It is mounted to the firewall. We've got some things just kind of generally routed. We got our wiper switch uh, and did get our turn signal switch there. That is plugged in down there. We did have to repin the turn signal switch to a GM style connector. Kit comes with a new headlight switch right there and our hazard switch. Uh, and I've got dimmer switch back down in there. So this does come fairly well cable managed for you. However, it does appear that it will take some extreme amount of patience to get this, you know, through the factory wiring looms and hooks the way it was intended to be. But overall, pretty pleased so far. And we'll uh, go take a look at the firewall and show you where the bulkhead connector comes out. All right, bulkhead connector, nicely sealed against the firewall. Uh, the template for the screw holes worked, you know, about as well as you can hope. Some enlargement of the holes was necessary. Now, our next big step here, now we're kind of going out of order as per the directions, is we've really got to get headlight wiring in here. So as you can see, our shiny grills are no longer installed. Reason being, you can't install the headlights with the grills in. You can't install the headlights without the wiring being in, because there is virtually no access, basically. On a positive note, bumpers are hung. You know, definitely not ready for beauty shots yet by any means. The whole car is a disaster. But, looking good. You gotta get the headlight wiring in next, and that way we can button up the rest of this, you know, front end. All right, so first impressions on American Auto Wire Classic Update Series wiring for 67 to 76 Mopar A body. So far, I'm very impressed. It is not exactly a job for a beginner. However, if you've got basic wiring skills, you could probably get this done. But, again, not for a beginner who's never wired a car. Now. I'm a professional, sort of, at doing this sort of thing. However, it is first time for wiring a complete 1968 Barracuda. So far, it's gone fairly well. Um, most of the hassle is just keeping the wiring organized and routed correctly. That seems to be the key. Following the instruction procedure, not necessarily 100% important. You want to start where we started today, though get your fuse block mounted and then move on to the next logical step. Now for me, the next logical step is our headlights. Going by the instructions, they want you to go ahead and wire up the dash next. I've got some more work to do on the dash as far as cleaning it up, you know, defilthifying it from sitting in the garage for the last 20 years basically. Need some terminals clean, you know, probably disassemble it and get it straightened out and you know but we'll see overall I give it a thumbs up definitely going to make this car last a long time as compared to what we took out of it well uh, you know y'all kind of seen that probably depends on how long you've been watching but the rat's nest that came out of here probably not the best solution for a car you want to last for a long time now Duddy, on the other hand, well, he's in the shop today, too. And, uh, mm-hmm, he's actually making progress. Who would have thought? So, anyway, more wiring next time, guys. In the meantime, if you're not, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you next time.
Alright guys, so apparently Duddy's over there doing things to his car. Who would have thought? Maybe we'll catch a disaster. I doubt it. He's a trained professional, right? He's worked for me. Oh, damn it, damn it. Oh yeah. Damn it. Yes. See? Perfect timing. I don't know if this is the right way, but this is the way I'm doing it. Oh, it smells like death. I mean, it, it reeks of parental disappointment. Mm. You're doing better than my last job. Cleanliness-wise, at least. Well, you know. Scattered. Yeah. It's fine. You know, it's rust preventing the uh, concrete. No. Well, be more worried about rust preventing the car. <laughs> well, you're not. I can't have nice things.